When you start up some levels, you might have one or more of these messages up in the top left telling you that Baked Shadows, Ambient Occlusion or the Nav Mesh need to be updated. They are there because if these things stay uncalculated, you won't have the best experience possible while playing the game. So, to calculate the Baked Shadows, begin by pressing 9, and that's not the 9 on your numpad, but uh, the 9 above your O key. This will get you into edit mode. So now press the edit tab and press calculate shadows right there. The game will freeze for a while while it's calculating the shadows, sometimes up to 10 minutes depending on how good your computer is and how many objects there are on the level. You can see the progress being done if you look in the console window right there. If you're on Mac you won't have this uh, on by default but you can turn it on easily by using the sum launcher. And when it's done calculating, remember press to press Ctrl S on Windows or Command S on Mac to save your calculated shadows so you won't have to calculate them again. To calculate ambient occlusion, just press the Calculate Ambient Occlusion button. This one will take a bit longer than the shadows. And once it's done, don't forget to save with Ctrl S or Command S. Here are a few images showing you what the shadows and ambient occlusion does. Here are without shadows and ambient occlusion, here's with only shadows, and here's with both shadows and ambient occlusion. And the great thing about these pre-calculated shadows and ambient occlusion is that they basically won't affect your frame rate in the game at all, while still making it look much better. And now we only have one message left up there to get rid of. The nav mesh is what the AI uses to navigate around the level. Without it, they won't know where they can and can't go, so they'll run into walls and down ledges. To calculate the nav mesh, hit the pathfinding tab and press create nav mesh. Uh, the game will freeze while it works, as usual. And when it's done, you should press save nav mesh so you won't have to do this again. You can toggle viewing the nav mesh on and off by pressing view nav mesh. In this mode, you can test the mesh out by holding Control on Windows uh, or Command on Mac and pressing left and right click. These two objects will appear when you do that, and the line between the two objects will show you what path the AI will take to get from one of the objects to the other. If you make any changes to the level, the messages will reappear. So if you're creating a level of your own, calculating these should only be done when you feel like you're done with the level. If you want a preview of how the lighting will look while you're editing, you can turn off pre-baked shadows in the Sum Launcher config editor or in your config file. This will enable dynamic shadows in the game. Keep in mind though that the dynamic shadows will have a performance impact. And that's all you need to know about calculating shadows, ambient occlusion and nav meshes in Overgrowth. I'm Silverfish from OGWeekly.com, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.